programming. I've never done anything with computer, with computers in general. Because I thought it was gonna be like all about computers and stuff. Yeah. But it's not. I thought it was gonna be a little bit harder to do. At first, I thought you had to be really, really smart to um, code. The e textiles unit covers a series of different projects. Each one builds on the next. The students start out by making simple circuits and then eventually making parallel circuits with switches and computational circuits that they can program in customized ways. The programming includes a lot of challenging concepts, um, basic sequences, uh, embedded conditionals, Boolean statements, mathematical operators, using sensors, and thinking through the logic of how to program those sensors. It's not just crafting, it's sewing combined with circuitry. I love what you might call the hybrid nature of e-textiles. To see the possible connections between crafting, computing, and engineering. Our e-textiles unit seeks to bring making into computer science classrooms. We want to broaden who is participating in making in computer science. We want to deepen their learning by providing meaningful challenges to students. And we want to diversify who is making and what they are making. We're doing this by focusing on student-driven handcrafts. The electronic crafting projects are not so much about teaching students stitching. Uh, involves a lot of problem solving and thinking about procedures and steps which I, I think connect very closely to thinking about compu computing and procedures. But it's that transformation from their original ideas to what works and learning the skills, both programming skills and circuitry and crafting and all of those ways that those interweave. It's usable. You can take it home with you. Kids come in at lunch that I've never seen ever outside of the classroom uh, without me asking them to. They just come because they want to do extra work or they want to make sure their project works. I like to do challenging things. 